black surfers an anomaly or invisible to mainstream audiences. Although surfing's history has its foundation in Polynesian and Melanesian roots, the popularity of these surfers around the world may have just been overshadowed or the relevance hasn't been as notable. Just dropped a 4.6 up and riding live action. Four steps up to the tip. Connie, Connie L.A. Stewart there. Long hang five. Long hang ten. One of the longest hang tens we've seen in the event so far. Pedals back to the tail. Cuts back. Sets himself up for a second nose ride section. Pulls up for another ten and just hangs in there. The elevation, the lift, the soul arch. Back for the five. Back up for the ten. Stays on that five for a very long time. Pedals back <laughs> to the middle of the board. Keeps that trim speed up again. Up to the five. Up to the ten pedals back and that was just absolutely sensational wow that was just wow Coniella, this is crazy that was such uh, his a great insight is appreciated and that is a beautiful sight right there uh, board so switch fun. on the inside that was super impressive it was going to be this little heartfelt moment Coniella still goes and gets a perfect 10 on a board he's never surfed before oh man what a great finish but that was the heat of the event by far hey. little kiss on the cheek love the camaraderie the brotherhood that's what this is about. Swapping boards back. Connie's got to hold on to that moneymaker. With direct access on social platforms, world champions like Meek Miller can show her skills and the reason why she is ranked fifth in the entire world. One of the most influential surfers known around the world was Buttons for his switch foot, spinners, and 360 exciting and explosive style. His maneuvers are still imitated to this day. A new golden breed of black surfers were forming organizations and popping up all across the Golden State, Black Surfers Association. To be a surfer, to follow the white, blonde, or blue-white stereotype, break this and say, hey, no, you know, that's cool, but we also have our own identity, our own reality as black surfers, and we don't have to parrot the language and even the boards. You know, we have three black surfboard companies that make surfboards for black boards. We'll make surfboards for anybody, but they're black boards. They're black shapers, black owners of the company, you know? So, you know, basically trying to break the paradigm from a white paradigm to a universal paradigm. She's here. This is her right here. And here is my shaper, Sean Owello. First generation surfers who were making waves on the scene here in California were D. Don Kanathi, Rick Blocker, Will Lamar, Tony Corley, Robert Chapman, Sharon Schaefer, Andrea Kabwaswa, Sulian Mosley, and many others to name a few. 
Then the BSC was formed with Gregory Rochelle, Jeff, Damon Basket, Mary Mills, and many more. In 1999, Salima Sal Masakala blew us away becoming the host of Winter X and Summer X Games. No, that's behind me. It's a guy's name. He did. His name is uh, Nick Gabaldon. And this is his game here in Santa Monica. And the reason we named this day after him is back in the day, before I was even alive, when my, when my father was here, this used to be an all black beach. This is a segregated beach where only blacks could come. Okay? This brother, he was uh, half Mexican, half black. He was raised in Santa Monica. He was a war veteran and he was a lifeguard here. And he taught himself how to surf. And so he protected the people out at this beach. And he was one of the first documented surfers of color. So this, yeah. this beach that we're standing on right now was segregated in 1940? Yeah, most of the beaches were segregated up until like the 50s. Yeah. From I Oregon. A couple times. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome to, to be down here. I definitely, you know, wanted to be with some people that look like me. Yes. <laughs> Although black surfers have faced many challenges over the years with segregation as well as harassment, the surf life is getting better as we continue to form our own organizations and build brands. The surfers that happen to be black, we've known and experienced challenges in this community that would probably shock you because it's been very hard for people to perceive, perhaps, that people that don't look like them can love the ocean as much as they do. And the kid looked at me dead in the eye, confused. He was like, surfer, you guys don't even swim. Racism is not a thing that we will stand for in the United States of America. We're going to take the full eight minutes and 46 seconds that George Floyd experienced. Officer, I was I terrified to enter the water in a sea full of white men. Once I worked through that fear, it changed my entire experience. The realization that the water is everyone's space was the purest joy. And in Jamaica, a whole different experience. I remember when I started surfing with people have told me that two and a half and four, I started surfing seriously at about age nine. I started surfing way back. It's LAB. It is. Shama. Right. Is this a freestyle? Hey. Yeah. Hey. Touch the streets of the city and every girl pretty so you know so I'm squeeze a cup of city, right? From I was nine, um, and for myself I would say the late 60s and my first surfboard, 1974. So that's really where we started our surfing. Surfing began there for me personally, you know? We were surfable. And the man in which we broke, they broke on the outside, went over the reef, and then died on the inside. So no matter how rough the sea got, there was inside the area for swimming. Black surfers are now being seen online, in magazines, and on the big screen. Praise God for Atamara Cup, Peki Puma. I'm a surfer from Bayasa State in Nigeria. Black surfers are surf instructors with their own schools, practices, and camps. As the awareness of Black surfers grow by defining their own culture as documentarians, podcasters, advocates, activists, movie makers, brand ambassadors, Olympians and trainers, directors, musicians, competitors, and influencers on social platforms, 
as well as vloggers like myself. Yes. Hey, look, there's waves, there's people out. There's still waves, though. There you go, there's guys. Because you seem to be a very spiritual man. Yeah. Of course, surfing. Yeah. You don't have a choice. You know, <laughs> this is this is what life is, is really about. Like, what made you start surfing? How did you get into this? Way out there, and you start watching other people, and you start learning about fins and wetsuits and different boards. And then when Maury came out with the Slick Bottom Mach 77, that changed the game to live this whole culture, and, and it changes your life. Mm -hmm. Everything revolves around the ocean. I mean, yes. me, I have always had night jobs because of the ocean. Bodyboard. Hey. I just got finished doing what's happening. Yeah, I'm going home though. It's out of the I don't know what it is about surfing that just gets you dumb hungry, but now I'm dumb hungry. That's you! I'm out. Hey, I'm out. You ain't doing the right, huh? I'm going right. that surf chick Mimi. Peace and love, Sun Tribe. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.